Hi there! Welcome in that video tutorial about the Golem for Unreal Engine plugin. In this video, I'll focus on how to deal with shading variation within Unreal. So right now, I'm, I'm running Golem 6.4 within Maya, and I have exported a pretty simple scene with uh, uh, 25 characters as a square. And uh, even if you can see, they all are wearing the same blue T-shirt. If I do render this. Uh, you can see they're having different colors on their uh, t-shirt as different textures. This is due to the fact that when I have defined uh, that character and I have defined the t-shirt mesh, I've attached some what we call shading attribute to the shaders and the shading attribute can be used within the shading graph to feed a switch value or change a U or whatever you want to. So here on my t-shirt mesh, I'm having an integer attribute, which is called manmd torso t-shirt texture idx, which has uh, an integer value random between zero and four. So I'm having five different values here, zero, one, two, three, four. And within Maya, I can deal with this into an Arnold shading graph or a VRA shading graph. I can get that value and uh, switch the texture based on this value. So let's get the same um, scene within Unreal that I have loaded using the Golem library tool, so you can uh, check the other video for that matter. And if I want to be able to have variation on the t shirt texture, as soon as I've loaded my character, I ended up with for every time I'm having a material, I'm ended up with a material node within Unreal, and I can click on that material node and change its value and uh, change the way it works. So this is my base material which is connected to a blue. Uh, texture and I'm good. So on top of this blue texture, I also loaded uh, like a black texture, a bicolor texture, and some uh, kind of uh, light blue texture. So within Unreal, you can uh, right click here and uh, start typing switch, and this should bring you a golem switch shader that you can, that you can get into your scene. And now you can use that switch shader. If we take a look at the switch shader, it has uh, uh, 10 different entries and an output, a selector value, and a start offset. And this works exactly the same way than the switch shader within Maya for Arnold VRA. So you can check the documentation for this if you want to know more. So what I want to do first is to say that the output of my switch shader is going to be plugged into the base color of my uh, input here. And I want to now plug all my textures to the different entries. So I want to say, okay, this is going to be my um, entry at shader zero. I also want it to be the default when I'm go out of uh, um, the range here. I want to use maybe the black as the other entry, bicolor as another entry, and the cyan here as another entry. And as I'm having five different values, um, so once again, it goes from zero to four. So I can either let it blank and if it's blank it will be the default which will uh, take a uh, position of that shader if so it's picked by one character or I can plug a same shader twice. You can still see the shader is in error because it needs a way to specify how it's going to select uh, the value of uh, the output of the switch shader. So I can create a float uh, parameter so if I go within, um, I'm pretty sure it's not. So if I go within parameters here, I can create uh, doo -doo -doo, a scalar parameter here. Okay, I can plug the output of that scalar parameter to my selector. And the name of the parameter I want to read is exactly the same name which has been specified within Maya, which is a manmg. Etc. Etc. So manmd torso t-shirt texture idx, and you really want to make sure that this is the same name because this is the way it's going to be fetched uh, by the Golem plugin to know how to assign uh, the right values and to do the right shading variation. So as soon as I do uh, save that uh, uh, shading graph here, the next time I'm going to go within my, so I'm going to let uh, Unreal compile that uh, that shader. And the next time I'm going to be able to see the Unreal viewport, hopefully I get my 
texture being scattered properly to my different characters. So it's up to you here to specify um, how do you want to use that parameter. So here it's using a switch, but you can plug it to whatever you want to. You can use this to drive a specular value or to drive whatever, and uh, that will work exactly the same way. And now you can see that within the viewport, characters have been updated. Some characters got the bicolor t-shirt. Uh, some have the black, the light blue, uh, regular blue. So really have to you. You can also play with the HSL uh, shader to make some uh, U variation. You can combine this with multiple use of data. And uh, at the end, you'll get a proper shading within Unreal. So hope it makes sense and see you in the next video.